Welcome to this week's video. Um, this is for Japanese 3 and 4. We're going to be working with um, Genki, our textbook, starting from Unit 7, not 1, Unit 7. And um, we're going to be working with Te-Iru as a grammar form. Like I just said, we're starting from Chapter 7. Uh, this is because chapters 1 through 6 are pretty much the equivalent of what you did already in Japanese 1 and 2, uh, so we're not going to start from the beginning. Uh, chapter 7 is centered around the theme or concept of talking about other people, what they look like, and what they're doing. And what we're going to be ending with this unit with is describing a group of people that are in a picture. Let's get some vocab. So we have um, some u-verbs first, u-verbs being verbs that don't always end in u. As you can see, we have a, it ends with a ru there and a mu and a ku. Um, u-verbs can include verbs that end in ru, but it just signifies that they conjugate into mos form differently. Um, so if we have that u, it changes to a um, e mas. So whatever the last sound is, the u in it changes to an e. So su mu would become su mi mas. Um, so we have u ta u kaburu, shiru, and this is uh, listed as to get to know, because we already know wakarimasu is to know, but that's like a understand type of a know, whereas shiru is like um, knowing a person or knowing a fact. Um, so shitte imasu is like, I know that. Whereas wakarimasu is more of a I understand. Um, sumu, sumimasu. Um, you really only use the teiru form of that sundeimasu. Minnesota ni sundeimasu. Haku, hakimasu. So zubon o hakimasu. Skato o hakimasu. Um, Futoru. Futoru is to gain weight. Um, the teiru form of that being futoteimas. Then we have some ru verbs. Again, these are focused on describing people, what they look like, and what they're doing. So, megane o kakeru. And, um, I mentioned it with u-verbs, also ru-verbs. Um, with a ru-verb, you just delete the ru and replace it with mas. So tabe ru, tabe mas is an example of a ru-verb. Kiru, ki mas, to put on. Um, where haki mas is below your waist, ki mas is above. Tsutomeru, or tsutomemas, um, to work for. Note that this uses the particle ni. So, watashi wa apurubare koko ni tsutomete imasu. Yaseru, yasete imasu, this being the opposite of futote imasu. Kekkon suru is an example of um, an irregular verb, suru being one of our two irregular verbs in Japanese. Kekkon shite imasu would be the te iru form. And once we get into grammar, as in right now, we're going to be talking about um, the significance of te iru form and what it does. So te iru form is um, a 
a combination of te plus iru, and it can mean either an action that is in progress or a past event that is connected with the present, which is, would kind of be a, a state of being. Um, you can see that here with number one, a continuous state. Um, numbers, uh, yeah, number three here is also kind of connected to that. I'm going to let you read this um, for yourselves. So you can pause the video and read this. So that is what a te form, a te iru verb is. That um, action in progress is usually um, I, the same as adding ing. So studying, benkyo shite imas, reading, yonde imas. Su-san wa ima benkyo shite imas. Takeshi-san wa eigo no hon o yonde imas. You can also use te imas to explain what a person is doing for their occupation or a habit that they have that's ongoing. Um, context might be important for this because you can see um, with that first example, watashi wa eigo o oshiete imasu. This could mean right now I'm teaching English or my job is teaching English. Um, the second one also, um, because you have the word mainichi in there, you know that it's talking about a habit um, that she does, not... Um, this here where it says spending 24 hours a day. Um, she is in the habit of mainichi nihongo o benkyou shiteimasu. The third set is um, a change in state. Um, so for example, if you get married, that would be kekkon shiteimasu. So your new state is being married or Michiko-san wa mado no chikaku ni suwatte imasu um, she is in the state of sitting near the window here are some more examples of verbs that are frequently used with this so we have motsu Motte iru, su san wa okane o takusan motte Shiru, shitte iru, yamashita sensei wa haha o shitte imasu. Futoru, futotte iru, tomu san wa chotto futotte imasu. Yaseru, yasete iru, watashi no ototo wa totemo yasete imasu. Kiru, kite iru. Mary-san wa t-shatsu wo kite imasu. Iku and kuru are also, uh, can also be used as te-iru verbs. Um, notice that, um, as it says, they indicate current states that result from prior movements, not um, current movements. Um, so, for example, hashiri mas or run, into te iru form would be hashite imas, um, which would mean you're in the state of running. But with iku, ite imas, that's not going. Oops, that's not my pen. That's not going. That is, she is in the state of having gone there. Uh, and the same with kimas. Lastly, with conjugation, iru conjugates like a ru verb, so tabete imas, tabete imasen, tabete imashita, tabete imasen deshita. All right, for your review activities, 
on your worksheet um, in the five new sentences section on the back you're going to make five new sentences that use the new vocabulary and grammar from this video then once you've done that um, move on and in the space space for the prompt you're going to write your response to this prompt here on the back of your worksheet and the prompt is to complete the review activity and we're going to check the answers in class if you've forgotten the TAE form follow along while I show you how to use gshow.org to um, to look up the TAE form so you go to gshow.org online of course and you type in for example read it'll show up with Yomu and underneath it you have play audio show inflections and links if you click show inflections it'll give you a nice big list with all of the possible conjugations of Yomu including the te form Yonde um, so you can do this for any verb and find what the te form is in case you've forgotten while you're doing your work at home. Alright, so look at the pictures below and answer the questions. I'll zoom in on the first ones and you can pause here and then I'll scroll down. The question is, Mary-san wa nani wo shiteimasu ka? You can see for the first example, Mary-san wa terebi wo mitemasu. All right, closing announcements. I have three questions for you, well, two questions and one reminder. What do you think of the new worksheet that we're doing instead of the questions on Edpuzzle? And also the new video format where there's no little picture of me in the bottom. Um, don't forget to complete the follow-up form and the link for that is also printed on the back of your worksheet. And I will see you on Monday.